Composure is the willingness to change your internal state from upset to calm and bring your mind to the present moment. From this alert but calm state, we're able to engage all our brain resources to solve problems, model responsibility, and offer respect even in difficult situations. Once we learn the self-control, then we can teach it to children. In this session, you will learn how to take back your power, actively calm yourself, create safe environments for children, and establish a safe place where even the most difficult child can learn self-control. So let's take a deep breath, bring our mind to the present moment, and get started. Welcome to the first skill of conscious discipline, which is composure. And the icon for this skill is a star. And star means simply S, which is smile or stop. T, take a deep breath. A, and R, relax. So let's all start with that. So I want to, let's smile. Take a deep breath. Hold it. And relax. And with that, I want you to bring your mind to where your body is. All the stuff you need to be doing today, you can't do. You are here. All the stuff you should be doing right now, you can't do. You are here. So give yourself permission to be present at this very moment. So one more time. Let's smile. Take a deep breath. And relax. And because the brain is pattern seeking we're going to start this session with a song like we've started each session before so again the brain is what pattern seeking so we're going to start with a song this song is called the star song and what we're going to do is we're going to put ourselves in a state we're going to go when you're feeling really angry no matter where you are you're going to let it go there's a way to feel better there's a way to be a star and the rest you can follow me so everyone just stand up here we go. And get those angry states and let it go so you can tell the difference between the two. When you're feeling really angry, no matter where you are, there's a way to feel better. There's a way to be a star. With this one thing to remember, you'll stop anger in its track. All right, take it way back. Here we go. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. Okay, way back here now. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. One more time. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. Do that same thing again. Here we go. When you're feeling really angry, no matter where you are, there's a way to feel better. There's a way to be a star. With this one thing to remember, you'll stop anger in its track. All right, this time the other hand. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. One more time. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. Overhand hitting. Here we go. Just stop, take a deep breath, and relax. All right, have a seat. And what that song was about was really a state change. And that's what composure is. Composure is changing our internal state from upset to calm. And that's as simple as it is. But to do this, to change our internal state from upset to calm, we've got to, one, think it's possible, two, believe it's necessary, and three, know how to do it. Now, most of us, have been raised to believe that outside stuff is driving us nuts. Outside stuff is making us angry. Whether that's whiny children, back talking, traffic, ex-husbands. See, we think ex-wives, all that out there is what's making us mad. 
So here's the problem with that. If we think that the outside events are making us mad, then we're going to give our power away to all those outside events. And this brings us to the first power of conscious discipline. Conscious discipline has seven powers and seven skills. The skill is composure, but the power that it comes from is the power of perception. Now, what the power of perception really says is how I perceive something dictates my emotional state, which then dictates my behavior. Now, in conscious discipline terms, I made it pretty simple, and here's how I state the power of perception. No one can make me angry without my permission. Let's say that together. No one can make me angry without my permission. One more time. No one can make me angry without my permission. Now, that sounds good on paper, don't you think? Huh? That's real good on paper, but we always have these itty-bitty exceptions, and I've already mentioned a few of those, except this or except that. So what we're going to do in this session is learn about composure and learn about taking back our power. Now, here's the problem with giving our power away. What happens then is when we give our power away and we believe that outside events are making us sad, angry, happy, upset, irritated, is that whomever we believe to be in charge of our feelings, we've placed in charge of us. Whomever or whatever. I was in Chicago, oh, it was months and months ago, but I'm on an elevator with this woman. This woman gets on this elevator, and here's what she does. She gets on the elevator, and she's just like, just huffing and puffing. I mean, we're on like the 32nd floor. And every time the door stops, it opens, somebody else gets on. She's like, no, 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 no. She's just going on and on and on. And I'm looking at her, and I'm thinking, you know, you're giving your power away to an elevator. <laughs> and the more the door opened and shut, the more frustrated she got. And I'm thinking, this is what elevators do. That's, what that's her job. And she had just given all her power away to the elevator. And I believe she consciously, I mean, didn't consciously, but unconsciously, she truly believed that she huffed and puffed enough, we'd go to the lobby quicker. Now, and how many of us have that same kind of mindset? If I just huff and puff enough, life's going to go my way. But what happens is whomever we've given our power away or whatever, given up, uh, whomever we believe to be in charge of our feelings, we've put in charge of ourselves. So right now what I'd like for you to do is just take a moment and think, right now, who or what do you believe is making you mad or angry or irritated? Also, I want you to think about this. Who or what do you think is making you happy? Because it's, both, it's the same thing. If you think someone's making you happy, they're still in charge of you. Whoever you've placed in charge of your feelings, you have placed in charge of you. And now we'll use this little vest as a demonstration. So let me get this thing on. How many of you have thought, mm-hmm, that child's pushing my buttons? Huh? You ever had that? See, here's what happens. When we give our power away, here's how we're walking around life. Anybody at any time can flip our little switches and make us mad, right? It could be traffic, boom, boom. It could be our children. It could be the classroom. It could be walking down the hall. <laughs> now, if we walk around with our vest like this, so to speak, or when we walk around giving our power away, here's what we must do and see if this makes sense to you. We then have to control the entire world to manage our own emotions. Right? I'm going to have to spend my whole energy making sure the world goes my way so that I can keep a calm, peaceful, happy internal state. 